Cape Cod is a place filled with white, sandy beaches, marshy areas filled with wildlife, and of course, an old and rich history. It's one of the oldest areas with some of its towns dating back to 1539. It's a vacation hotspot for some and a second home to some, but like any place, it has its hidden secrets, a dark history just beneath the surface. Killer in the Cape, the Cape Cod Vampire. For those following the new season of a certain horror show on TV, one of those stories mentioned does in fact happen to be true about a string of murders on Cape Cod. Now, while vampires most certainly don't roam the darkened streets looking for victims, this story is about a man who would be dubbed the Cape Cod Vampire. During the 1700s, a sort of vampire panic took hold of local residents on the Cape due to an outbreak of tuberculosis, which would later be known as the Vampire Virus. It caused such a panic that many loved ones of families who passed from the virus would dig up and burn or had pieces burnt. Fast forward to the 1960s, when a new bloodthirst would creep into the area. Anton Charles Costa, better known at, by many as Tony, worked as a carpenter, but he would later achieve notorious murders in and around Massachusetts town of Tur Turo. In 1969, victims were found bitten and cut to pieces. However, it it somehow charmed victim. He would somehow charm victims, and remove removed his was later found to be untrue. Tony was suspected of killing eight women, although he believed he hadn't done the crimes he was accused of. Tony later described the murders of two of the women in his unpublished novel, titled Reg Res mm, Res Resurrection, which he had written while he was in prison. In his version of the events, Tony and a friend named Corey were out with the two women consuming LSD, and Corey then shot and killed the two women he claimed he was able to subdue his friend, and upon realizing that one of the young women was still alive and suffering, he used a knife to end her pain. The body of one of his victims had been cut into eight pieces. Her body was found about a month later. Her torso and head had been burned separately. Not long after the two bodies of two other women as well as the rest of the first victim, were found in a forest clearing that Tony had used for growing marijuana. His novel also describes the death of two other women, but this time he claimed it was Carl, his alter ego, who dismembered and burned their bodies, and that had no knowledge until after their death. On June 12, 1969, Tony Costa was arraigned on charges of murder for three of the deaths. However, in May 1971, he was convicted of the murders of the first two women he had claimed Corey responsible for and sentenced to life in prison. But four short years into 
the incarceration, Tony Costa committed suicide by hanging himself in his cell. Thank you all so much for listening. If you have any recommendations, please feel free to comment or contact me. I'm on all social media, and they are all linked on this page. If you would like to support the show, you can find me on Patreon, which is linked as well. Please feel free to leave a like and rate and review if you enjoy the show. I'd love to hear from you guys as well as your thoughts on the case. Please be respectful to the parties involved. And until next time, thank you.